What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Fuel. Now, as you'll notice, we're kind of in the same area that we kind of that we were in, in one of the previous episodes, but that's okay because I like to use Fuel to talk about more um, personal stuff, do more of a personal commentary to really talk with you guys, and I mean, obviously it's about the game to, as well, but kind of have it be a little bit less about the game and more about actually talking personally with you guys. So, um, and I had a specific story I actually wanted to talk about. Um, with you guys now some of you guys that maybe follow me on some other social media platforms will know that um, That I'm a gymnast slash free runner slash tricker whatever you want to call it and I recently just the other night just started trying triple full twists now if any of you guys are if any of you guys have any experience with with tumbling or gymnastics you guys will know what a triple full twist is if you, if you don't basically what it is is a backflip with three 360 degree rotations basically that's what it is so i've been working on them a little i've been working on them a little bit i didn't actually get a chance to work on them um in one of the other um let's see the last time i was at the gym which was tuesday i didn't really get a chance to work on them all that much but um on monday i was drilling them like crazy and they're starting to feel pretty good i figured out what i was doing wrong too and i was trying them before I, w I wasn't twisting early enough, and I realized that I was, as, as soon as I started twisting, as I was coming off the floor, it allowed me to get that extra rotation that I was looking for, and I've, I've set this race to max difficulty, so I don't know if it's gonna go horribly wrong or not, I've, I didn't pick the, uh, um, the other, uh, the monster truck that I used the other time, what was it called, the King Arthur, I didn't use that, um, I didn't use that at all, because... In my experience, it was just way too wide uh, for this course, and it lost out in the corners, and it just didn't work out too well. Dang, a 6x6 getting in my way like crazy. Jeez, 6x6. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, probably shouldn't have tried to block him, because that was just bad for me. Come on, come on. This is just one of those trucks where you're begging for more power all the time. You're begging for it to give you more power. Yes. Oh yes, nearly in the top three. This truck's a lot easier to control. I guess you could say, I mean, they classify it as an SUV, but I mean, whatever, off-roader, truck, SUV, you can kind of call it any of those, uh, whatever you really want to. Oh, cut it, yes. No checkpoints, so I can cut if I want to. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a weird little corner, but we can cut it, yes. And through the checkpoint. We cut here, kinda. I was worried that might that that might have stopped me. What? He cut around the other side of the house? Are you serious? Jeez. But yeah, back to um back to the other topic, really uh real quick. The whole like um gymnastics topic. Twisting's always been easier for me than double flipping. I don't know why. I mean, if any of you guys um if any of you guys tumble or trick or do anything like that, um you'll you know obviously it just depends on your personal style, you know, what you're better at, um, you know, flipping or twisting. I am better at twisting than flipping. It's just something that I, I find that I just am better at, and I'm gonna need to restart this race because it, it kind of got really crappy. Um, at that point when we hit the woods, it just got terrible. But, um, but yeah, back to the other topic. I am a better, I, I'm, I'm better at twisting than flipping, and I'm not really sure why, I just know that, I just know that I am. It's just kind of one of those things where, where you know you're better at, at one thing than, uh, than something else. I mean, I'm still trying to drill my, my double back tuck just to, uh, just to actually get it, um, to get it down so I can get it on the floor. I still don't have that on the floor yet, but, you know, and here I am working on triple full twist, so it's... Some people might say it's odd because a lot of people think a lot of people get a back a lot of people get their double backflip first. A lot of people get their double backflip before they get into multiple twisting, and I guess I mean it depends on depends on who's coaching you, depends on what you're better at. It, it does a lot of factors that uh, that go into that. I want to drive that six by six really bad. I feel like it would be a really good vehicle for this game. I feel I mean I like the look of it too. I feel like it'd be a good vehicle. I like the look of it. Um, why do they always bog down in that corner? They always get right in front of me and bog everybody down in that corner, including me, and it's very frustrating. Dang, get some speed up. Jeez. 
Thankfully, there's a corner up here where a lot of them mess up. Usually, anyway. A lot of them usually mess up here. Yes! Ah, yes! Come on! Not quite as good as the last time, but... Like, as far as advancing in places for that section, not quite as good. But not bad, either. <laughs> for a minute there, it said I was an 8th, and I was getting re- Whoa! Whoa! He came out of nowhere! Don't you dare. Don't you dare push me into that tree. Oh my god, I would have been so mad. He cut me off! I was gonna cut the track. He cut me off! There we go, third. Not bad. Man, a lot of these guys have been figuring out some kind of way that they just leave everybody else behind. The two dudes all the way up in the front, they leave everybody else behind. It's crazy. I don't know if they're getting some kind of massive boost in speed somehow, or if they've got just way faster trucks than everybody else. I don't know what it is, but what I do know is the fact that they, like, instantly separate themselves from the pack. It's crazy. And I am going to risk it, and I'm going to risk it and take a shortcut through the woods. It's probably a bad idea. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I was worried I was going to lose all my speed because that can always happen. Like when you're in the middle of the woods, you know, just like boom, run into a tree trunk and lose all your speed. It's happened before uh, to me and it's really frustrating when it does actually happen. It's extremely frustrating, actually. They're still up there. It's like they're not even messing up whatsoever. They're just still going and going and going. Not even letting up whatsoever. I mean, I don't expect them to let up, but... I mean, not even making any mistakes at all. Little bit of a cut. Not much, but just cutting through a little bit. I don't even see him. I mean, I see him on the map, but... I don't even actually see him, like, in the, uh... You know, like, actually in front of me at all. They're still so far ahead. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the way I get bogged down at the start, just because of the way everybody kind of clumps up at that first corner it's just weird it, i don't know what the, i don't know what the deal is with it it's kind of awkward just just how everybody kind of clumps up at the beginning of the race and i wish they wouldn't do that but it's just something that the ai just does and you kind of have to get you kind of have to accept it and get used to it so i guess you just have to other than getting used to it you have to find a way around it if you actually want to be able to win i haven't figured out a way around it yet i mean i'm sure it's just a line thing that i have to figure out and I, I feel like you'd have to do this race quite a few times to actually do that, so, which I don't want to, so, I mean, I think after this race, I'm gonna go and, wow, this is like a perfect shortcut just right through this creek, but yeah, after this race, we're gonna go do some exploring, because I really want to do some exploring, and I have a bunch of vehicles, I have a bunch of vehicles, um, in my garage that I just haven't used because they're not, um, they're not available for these races, they just, like, they, they don't apply to, to these races that we're doing because of restrictions. Come on, put your power down! It's either down on power or not putting it down. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to look behind. No! Mm -mm, mm -mm, no! No, 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 no! Oh, am I th oh my god, I am so glad that that wasn't an actual tree because it would have stopped me dead in my tracks. Jeez! I still don't get how these two are so far ahead up in front. Like they just It's like they just took off and are going at a way faster pace than everybody else in the race. Everybody else. They're just... They're just gone. Nearly there, though. I mean, at least we're going to have a top three finish. At least we're going to have a top three finish. And across the line. Yeah, try harder. <laughs> Try harder. We'll try harder some other time because we're going to go exploring. And go to free ride. Yes, yes, I do want to do that. Then try and get into some areas that we haven't been to yet. Because I tried going exploring a little while ago and I couldn't help feeling like I'd been to the area that I was trying to explore. I felt like I'd driven, I, like, I felt like I had driven the wrong way. So, let me go ahead and check the map. Whoa! Okay. So, we got this huge lake right here. And I feel like I remember this lake. Now, I haven't unlocked Dust Bowl City or the... A well, I've been into the ashtray, though. I've been there. Um, Dust Bowl City, 91 more stars needed. That's crazy. 
mean, that's legitimately crazy. Uh, the hangar. We could get into the hangar. Let's actually set our sights for that. Uh, let's actually... Or we can fly right to the edge of Big Cauldron's Edge. Okay, sweet! So then we can just drive into the hangar. Not the actual hangar, but the area. You can't see my air quotes. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this would be a really fun game to stream. Like, it'd be just a really good game for streaming. I don't know if... If, if you guys agree with that or not, but... And I don't even know if I if I feel the same way about it, but, like, I don't know. It, it, I feel like it might, just might, be a good game for streaming. And once I spawn in, I'm gonna go ahead and check the map to see which way we go. We go... Yes, there's, let's see. If we're going... Are we going... Yes, we're going the right way. Perfect! So all we gotta do is stay on this road for just a little while, and then we should cross over into that area. If it'll let us, which I think it will. I mean, I think it I think it automatically lets you. You just can't race there. Like, you can go wherever you want. You just can't race there until you get enough stars. I think that's how it works anyway. Get a little bit of, you know, getting, getting a little bit of drifting going. Vista Point. Oh, wow. Way out there. Okay. Yeah, that might be like an hour's trip away. <laughs> just maybe. Let's see if we're actually... Yeah, we are going in the right direction. I always like to check and make sure that we're actually going in the right direction. And you know what? Forget the road. We're going this way. That's the beauty of fuel, is that you can forget the road whenever you want and just go straight. No matter what's in your way, just go for it. Flat out. Oh, come on, then. I was expecting there to be a lot more of a jump right there. I really was. Oh, well, wait, never mind. A little bit of a jump. We nearly there? Nearly. And I think that Vista Point is in the next zone. Or area, or zone, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's a little bit of a bigger ramp. We've got to be, like, nearly there. Oh, yeah, so close. And I can definitely say that I have never been in this area before. Never been. I don't recognize it at all. Yeah, I don't recognize... Well, we're in the hangar now. At least the area called the hangar. Now let's see if we can find anything interesting. Did that Vista Point disappear? Did, like, everything on my compass disappear? Well, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, maybe it did just because I've never been in the area. Which is, I mean, which is quite possible, because I've never tried, um, exploring areas that I haven't actually unlocked yet, so that could be very possible that they just do that automatically. I wish it was daytime, though, because that way I'd be able to actually see the area I was exploring. Ow. Okay, we might be stuck. Okay, never mind, we're good. Whoa, there's a building. Or, like, three buildings, three trailers, just, like, just kind of sitting there. Random AI truck driving around. Although I'm not seeing any of the huge buildings that were supposedly in this area based on that screenshot. I'm trying to think. There looks like there might be... No? No, that's something else. That's just a billboard. Wow, that's deep. That's crazy deep. Yeah, that's just a billboard. I'm not sure where these buildings are supposed to be. That's... Wait. Let's see. Okay, no, never mind. So, that's the Vista Point. That's where we're headed. In fact, let's see if it'll give us a waypoint. Or set GPS. Yes, okay, it does give us... Okay, perfect. Oh, wow, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. It's just right there on the map. You can already see it. Normally, you can't see them, like, for a while. And I don't need the GPS. I just need I just need it to see like I just need to see where that arrow is. I don't need the actual red arrows just telling me where to go. I just want to see where the arrow on the compass is because you can just drive based on that since you don't actually need to follow any roads. Wonder if it'll let me discover it since I've never been here before. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't hit anything. Don't want to lose any of Well, number one, I don't want to lose any speed. And I also, oop, that was bad. 
Yeah, that tree. Every time you hit a tree, that little damage meter goes up. And whenever it goes up, your vehicle gets slower. And that is never a good thing. I mean, it is horrible when you get when you get that uh, when you get that damage far enough, like up into the red. Your vehicle will start smoking. It'll start bogging down. It just won't work properly, and you'll lose a ton of speed. And eh, forget the road. I'm just gonna go this way. Only thing is, I don't know if this thing can deal with this kind of a grade. Apparently, it can. Sweet. Yeah, it just goes. Nearly there. And boom. New Vista Point collected. So they did let us collect it. Alright. Wow. Holy crap. Look at look out in that direction. Dang, that's a view. You sometimes forget how crazy the views in this game are. They're insane. I still want to find those buildings, though, that I saw in that screenshot. I still really want to find them. I hope I don't, like, drive all the way across this area and then, like, realize that I've completely missed all the buildings. That would be horrible. Actually, though, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, aha. Aha. Yes, I see something. Looks like a giant. Well, you know what? It makes sense because it looks like a giant hangar. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've crashed out. I hope it doesn't respawn us back in the other area. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, then we're good. I would have been mad if it had respawned us all the way back in Big Cauldron's Edge. I would have been mad. And that's the outpost. Okay, I don't know if we'll actually be able to use it. Or, like, if... I don't know if, like, it just won't let us use it because we've never been there. Or, maybe what it'll do, which I'm actually hoping it does let us do, is... Since we discovered it, I hope it'll let us just continue to use it in the future. I don't know if it'll actually do that or not, but I really hope it does. Because if it does, that would be, like, that would be perfect. That would be the best thing ever. Because then, we would be able to go further and further out into the wilderness and have, um, but have new starting points. Dang, that's a huge hangar. Like, just as I'm getting closer and closer, it just gets, just gets bigger and bigger. That is huge! No way. A runway! Oh, a runway? Oh my god. I need to do, like, I need to go find some people that still have this game and do runway racing. Oh, dude. I mean, why are there these walls in the middle? That's dumb. But, um, that, that would be incredible. I mean, just to find people that still play fuel and do some runway drags here. Oh, man. I would love that. That would be perfect. That would be that would make for an awesome video. That'd make for an awesome stream. That would be legit. Did I miss a fuel canister? Yes, I did. We'll go ahead and go back and grab that. There we go. Not bad. 7,800 fuel. Not bad. Now, the big test. Let's see if it'll actually let us use this uh this base. Or is this the base? No, it's not. It's just a big abandoned hangar. The base is over here, apparently. That's weird. Why wouldn't they just put the base in the hangar? Well, maybe, I guess, so you could race through it. Now, the big question. Are they gonna let me use this place? Maybe. It's loading something, so maybe. Oh, come on, please. Oh, no. Oh, come on. We came all that way, and then it's like, to enter this zone, you need to collect more stars. And then it just kicks us out. Wow. Seriously? Well, we'll get those next star. We'll get uh, the rest of those stars uh, in the next episode. But if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.